Charlie. Sally. Here again, Vanishing Nomads. Uh, we've got a lot of videos that we have been downloading. And I should say not downloading, but we've been taking and we have... Uh, I'm going to try my hand at doing a little bit more editing. Thanks for uh, looking at the three that we do have. Uh, this one here will be a little bit behind. Uh, so I can try and play catch up with about two or three of them, maybe four. I don't know exactly yet what is what. Anyway, uh, it's Memorial Day weekend. Happy Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day weekend. And thank you to all your servicemen who served and who are serving. Yes, bros. That's what I can say. Um, I have to tell you that since we started the YouTube thing, we're not... I'm still not sure what's going on as far as the editing and what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong. So if any of you see this and you have any suggestions for my videos, uh, any suggestions of, of what I'm doing wrong or what I can do better, please, by all means, send it to us. Uh, all of you. We're, uh, we're, out, we're out there. Um, yes, we did get some help from Lola from Land. Lost, Lost on land. land again. Lost on Land again, yes. And and she was a big help. Actually, Lola was our very first number one subscriber. So thanks, Thank Lola, you, Lola. <laughs> for getting the ball rolling. And we've got, actually, been what? A week? Maybe two? I'm not sure exactly. But we've got three subscribers. Wow, we're headed that way! <laughs> uh, okay. Um, RV Joy, uh, RV uh, Joy, you're not famous yet, but you are ahead of us. But RV we're, Joey. we're catching up. Yeah, RV we're, Joey, yeah. we're catching up. Uh, yeah, Bob Wells, you know, we wish you well. You guys, every we, we like I said, we watch you guys every single morning. We're doing this here because what I'm going to do is so many of the first videos that we have done since we've gotten started being here in New York, it's been wet weather, so it's been hit and miss as far as when we can do the builds. And the only camera that we have right now is this one here, which is the uh, oh, the phone. And Obviously, with no insulation. Yeah, we keep forgetting. We, we, <laughs> we get the job done, and then we sit here and go, oh, the job is done. Dang it, why didn't we video that every time? So we're, right. we're missing important things, but right. we're new. We'll, we'll uh, get it. We'll get it, right. Um, what I have to say is that uh, so many of them that we have video since we've gotten the van starting to go get parts for and stuff like that, that's what's coming up now. Um, we had to, I had to edit so much, and then basically what I'm doing, I'm letting you know now, is I put all of the things together as much as we can. I'm going to try and do a voiceover. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet, but we're going to try and do it because everything else was kind of like, <laughs> so, you know, you really couldn't hear us talking, but you could see everything. So I'm going to try and voice over it and... Uh, let you go. Let, let you see what happens from there. We've got where we actually went to go get extra seats in the van. Uh, things that happened while we were there. How we came about it. We went to pick a parts. You know, I'm trying to get as many things done as on a very small budget. Um, we have one also that has um, the uh, the build of the bed three times. <laughs> Don't even go there. <laughs> How about the, uh, the manifold? Oh, uh, we thought we had a great buy, and we still think we have a great buy as far as the van is concerned. Um, I'll just kind of like put this one into it because we didn't really get any uh, video, video footage of it. But um, first of all, we took it for a little trip, what, about an hour away? An hour away. And uh, radiator blue. So there's a $500 radio that we had to have put in in order to get back home, right. even was, just an hour away. Yeah. Uh, shortly after getting the radiator fixed... It was on a Saturday afternoon, yeah. so not, not very many places were open. We just happened to be able to drive to a, a garage that was open. That they fixed it. Of course, it they, they didn't you know, fix that's it. premium price. Huh? Yeah. They didn't fix it. They actually put a uh, new, took a new one out, or took the old one out and put a new one in. Yeah. So we're all set as far as no overheating or anything like that is concerned. Yeah. And of course, what, two? Less than two weeks later. Less, less than two weeks later, the transmission started slipping and it, and it died. It died. Uh, every place around. Out on a back road where <laughs> uh, the tow truck driver came to get it and of course it was too big. It's a one ton. 
you know, high top transport vehicle and it was too big. So I just heard somebody else say that had the same they problem. Had, had to wait right. again for for another truck to come out and so, pick it, it up and right. and then we take it in and that's what it was. It, it turned into be like a two hour, three hour. Ours was almost like a three to four hour wait to get this done. So note to self. Pay attention to the weight of your vehicle if you have to have it towed, the size and everything like that, and make sure you tell them so you're not waiting out in the middle of nowhere, Twice. just you know <laughs> waiting and waiting and waiting. Yep. Yeah. So uh, note to self: make sure that you know all of you take note of that to you know, let them know as far as the width, the height, how much the weight is, because if you do this ahead of time, if you have to call for a tow truck. It's going to be less time that you have to wait on the road. Yeah. And thank God I got a AAA. I've had it for a few years, and right. I got the premium this this last year, even before I I knew I was going to start traveling. But I thought it was going to be in my little SUV. But then when Charlie came around, um, we decided to get something that we both could uh, deal with, and then we ended up with that the tank. Right. Nor and, normally, not it's, the name yet, yeah, but. Yeah. We have no, normally it's go big or go home. Well, actually, we're going big so we can leave home. <laughs> <laughs> and so, not kill each other in the right, process. Right. Uh, Although does, we're getting close. Right. Right. It does have an exhaust leak. Uh, now, next, yes, it next week we're going to address that. And hopefully after that's done, I think we're pretty much set. I mean, it's got new plugs, new wires. New, I still have to do an oil change. but We have a blower that, issue, too. It, some They fixed the blower, but I don't... If you gun it, it shuts off. It shuts off. <laughs> so we so, got to figure that out. Right, right. And we also have uh, front tires we got to replace for sure. Right. So there's some odd, odd and end issues. Even though we got it for good, in one of my videos, uh, one of our first videos, I said we paid four thousand for it. I was wrong. We paid uh, thirty six hundred. But by but the time we got the the license, license the registration, it you know, took all that, that other stuff, uh, all that other stuff, and what I'm surprised about is all these things that have been wrong with it. Um, I have the paperwork that says two weeks before we bought it that it came out of a DOT approval because it was a commercial van. Yeah. Like, oh wow, that must be a good van. We had a mechanic look at it. We did. Uh, we did everything you were supposed everything to. Everything you were supposed to, and we got taken. <laughs> kind of taken, yeah, kind yeah. Of got taken. Um, I can't remember the. Uh, we got a good price, but we didn't realize all the problems. We weren't prepared for it. If you get a chance to watch uh, Wanderlust Estate, um, he's had some changes in his life where he went from an RV to a van, and uh, the just thing. recent video that we watched of his, uh, it was clanging and banging and rocking all over the place where he had to replace the drive right. shaft. So no good price is a good deal. I mean, there's always going to be something wrong. You're buying used, you're buying somebody else's problems that you just didn't want to mess with. So, and uh, but we're we're willing. Yeah, we're going to take the time, but we're willing. We to have to it. keep putting money in it. You, you have to put money into it, even to make it presentable. If I wanted to resell it, right? So, uh, if we're going to put the money into it, why resell it? It's going to be damn near new when we get done with it. Uh, anyway, so that that's, <laughs> that's the that. that's the transmission and the the uh, the radiator issues that we had. Well, we have no video for. Um, a lot of the stuff as far as uh, getting some we'll more get seats and stuff you'll see in this video here. I have other videos coming up where, like I said, I put a bed in the back end. We've made the measurements and what we want to do. That's awesome. Uh, don't get in too big a hurry because I put it in the first time it was bad, second time it was better, third time it was a charm. <laughs> yeah. And uh, like I said, we're starting now that we've got the bed issue under control. We've got uh, starting a point on a dinette. Those are all videos that I'm going to be hopefully editing today and see what happens with it. There's only one uh, problem, one editing, which is going to be this one here, uh, as far as the audio is concerned, how I'm going to work that. So I'm using Filmora, so if anybody has uh, any. Uh, any input on that, please, please let us know. Um, <clears throat> I'm doing editing on Filmora on my laptop. Uh, audio doesn't seem to want to work with me. Um, I'm, most of these pictures and stuff like that that we're doing on the cameras and stuff like that, we hope to be a lot better. So, uh, just want to let you know what's coming up next and 
the other videos and safe travels to all of you. Happy Memorial Day, like we said, and we can't wait to get on the road. I'm showing you the van that we have taken the seats out of. Doing a quick little walk around. And voila! It still looks like junk. But we had to take the seats out, not manually, but we had to use a cutting torch. This is before we head out to the the uh, pick aparts. One seat only, so therefore Sally had to drive. When we get on the road with no seats in there. I've got a couple of bars that, uh, like a bus bar, that you actually get to hold up and you know, pull yourself in with. And I'm standing the whole way. Of course we had the beautiful mother nature rain and you'll notice uh, I had to take my coveralls and throw them up on the dash because here's our first problem we have rain water dripping into the windshield about four inches right there but that's the only place that actually leaked so at this point here we are at the pickup parts in the rain I'm bound and determined to get this extra seat in so there will be two seats for us instead of just one. So of course mud, rain and cold. Uh, Sally follows me out and uh, basically is checking out to see what's going on as far as the seats. But you'll see where she ends up at. She ends up back in the van saying, Oh my God, it's just way too cold. It's cold, it's damp, and it's 38 degrees. But yeah, I want to persevere and get seats in the van. I can't wait for good weather. Of course, the whole day only revealed two seat pedestals and two uh, new Safe amp visors. All, yeah. Happy Memorial Day, like we said, and we can't wait to get on the road. So, I think that's about it, isn't I it? I think so. Okay, well, stay tuned.